So as you guys know, I personally dislike active balancers. Anything more than a passive dissipative balancer that's built into a BMS, I think is unnecessary. In some instances, it can seem warranted because the cell drift is excessive. Maybe you got a bad batch of cells or they're not matched to the factory or they're used, then a high current active balancer might seem warranted, which is where I am here today. So we have this battery bank, it's 15 kilowatt hours, but it should have 16.3 kilowatt hours. So if I can actually balance these cells and milk an additional 1.3 kilowatt hours, this active balancer will actually pay for itself. And this seems to be the best one that everyone's using nowadays. It can push upwards of five amps of balancing current. And I'm not gonna test the voltages. Everyone likes to obsess and say, oh, this voltage is here, this voltage is here. I don't personally care. I'm gonna bring it up to a high state of charge, ensure that it's balancing, wait until the current drops to zero, and then I'm gonna do a capacity test. If my results are better, then I know that this did its job. If the results are the same, then it's pretty worthless. And in my past testing, typically I found these to be pretty worthless. So hopefully I will prove myself wrong. And in this instance, I'm giving it the best chance of succeeding with this battery. In the first test with this battery, the discharge curve, it actually dropped off at a certain point. So that could mean that one of the cells went too low while all the other ones were very high. So this might actually help. So we're gonna hook it up to my battery and see if it actually makes a difference. What I should really be doing is actually top balancing this pack, but I thought it'd be a fun video to try this. And I don't think I can find a more perfect battery to test on. That discharge curve was atrocious. There's no manual included, but it shows B negative, B positive one for the first cell positive, second cell positive, all the way up to eight. And then over here is number nine cell up to 16. And one is longer than the other one. So this one goes over here. And if this BMS disconnects while I do this wiring work, I don't really care. It will reconnect later. The first balance lead is done. Something to realize is the black wire on the second lead is actually the ninth cell positive. So be careful when you're setting this up. I think of every wire connected to a raw terminal as a liability. So I hate seeing all of these wires on top of a battery. If you're on a budget, you shouldn't buy these things, guys. Just do an initial top balance with a cheap power supply. Actually, how much is a power supply? A good one's like $50. So an active cell balancer might be cheaper than sitting there with a power supply and charging it up manually. Watch, by the end of the video, I'm all like sold on these things. I've wanted to be sold on these, but I've never been very impressed with them. Before I plug it in, I need to find a way to mount it right here because there are all of these terminals and there are things that could short circuit on the board. So I need to protect this. So we're just gonna use this terminal connector kit there we go. A light has illuminated and it says in small letters, run. I hear the buzzing. That means that it's probably working. So let's see if there's any current flowing on this balancer. P Ooh, 0.5, 0.59, 0.58, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18,
Good. So it is absolutely not my fault. Um, every single one is connected to its appropriate cell. I also noticed that this was destroyed when it hit a high state of charge. There was no smoke, everything was working perfectly, but right when I hit a full battery, this thing went up in smoke, and technically I didn't even hit a full battery. I just checked the settings and I charged to 56.4 volts. And the BMSs look fine, 3.35. 3.3 and 3.4. Let's check the pack where it burnt out. This isn't telling me anything because of the flat charge and discharge curve. I hate using voltage with this type of battery. It just is not very conclusive. And this one's designed to work with lithium iron phosphate. You guys, I don't know what happened here. And when I touched it, the whole thing was hot. It wasn't just this spot. Of course, the heat can spread through this whole thing, obviously, though. And this burned out over here. Why did this happen? And it was sitting on top of the plastic box the whole time. It worked fine all night long. It was working perfect. Even in the morning, I was checking the current and everything worked. These capacitors are rated to 6.3 volts, so I don't think we had an over voltage issue. Um, I don't know, maybe it was allowing too much current to go through and it overheated. I just, I don't understand. Oh, what a piece of junk. Every single wire that's on this thing is a liability. I did not like sleeping with this thing connected. So I'm just going to remove it because I don't like it. So unfortunately, I learned my lesson for like the fourth time. Um, I should probably take this pack apart and obviously rebuild it after I do a very solid top balance. And I ordered some Kapton tape, but it's taking a long time to get here. So for now, I'm just going to cycle it and let the BMS balance it slowly. And overall, the smartest thing to do is to do a top balance versus having one of these extra boards that can fail on here. I can't believe I didn't figure out what it was, though. Usually I can figure it out or I did something wrong. But in this instance, I don't think I did anything wrong. I connected it. It was working and then it stopped working for no reason. And that's pretty much it for this video. In my opinion, you should avoid active balancers. If you have to, do a top balance, especially if you have used or grade B cells like I do. I was too lazy. I didn't want to mess with it. It would have taken a few days to do that. And I need to charge my car. I need this system actually now because I'm running my Tesla off grid. So I need every single watt I can get. And that's pretty much it for this video. I will talk to you guys soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.